Welcome to my channel. This is Kiki Baitom. If you are new here, thank you so much for coming. I hope you end up subscribing. One year ago today, I posted my very first video on YouTube. I decided with my whole heart, let me do this. Do I regret or do I not? Let's find out from this video. So you probably clicked on this video because maybe you want to join YouTube. Chances are high that you would like to join YouTube or oh, you're just curious to find out what YouTubers go through. Well, stay with me and let me take you through. And also, excuse my nails that have been falling off, so here we are. I need to go to the salon to have them removed. They have been falling off by themselves. These are not my nails. These are artificial. These are my nails, my original nails. Yeah, so this is why I look like this. <laughs> First off, thank you very much, everyone that is part of my journey, that has been those that were with me from the beginning and those that joined along the way. I am so thankful for each one of you. Currently, I'm at 4,200 something. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. So I am monetized and I've been monetized for the last four months. Yeah. So speaking of, of monetization, I shared my journey uh, on, in a YouTube video, if you didn't, my, my monetization process and everything that was required and all of that in a video, in my monetization video. So if you would like to see that and you haven't watched it yet, I'll link it in the description. Please go ahead and watch it. So I'm going to be talking about the advantages first and then we talk about the disadvantages last. So I'm going to be sharing about my personal experiences. This does not mean that every YouTuber goes through this, but I'm going to talk about mine and then some others maybe that have had the disadvantages. There are some that have not faced myself, but I've had my friends face them. Yeah. So advantages, money. Number one, <laughs> money. I don't care how many people, how, how people think uh, money is evil. Money is no, does not my happiness. Money is not everything. Yeah, I am one person that agrees that money is not everything. And I don't like it when people uh, put money first on top of everything. It's not good. But I believe that money is good and it feels good to have money. Whether I believe it or not. Money is needed in everyday life, especially in today's life. Makes life easier, whether you like it or not. If you're sick, whether you're a kind person, you're not going to, to go to the hospital and say, I'm kind, please treat me. Yes, it is good to be kind, but it's it's not like money is required. You're not going to go there and smile and they treat you. Or you want to, to travel, like traveling makes me happy. So I'm not going to go to the airport and smile and be like, please allow me to board the plane. I don't have money, but I can offer you a smile. <laughs> no in your dreams so i believe that money is good it's just people that make it evil people that use it wrongly and do bad things then put the blame on money but money itself is not evil money is good it's good to have money money makes people happy money makes life easier yeah money makes me happy <laughs> so that is also one of the things that make me happy for having a youtube channel I make money and I don't have to do so much in order to get paid. It's literally my hobby, like to create videos. I do this to make myself happy and then I get paid. So YouTube pays me whether I'm working or not. This is the good thing about like the best part. Whether you are sleeping, like every morning when I wake up, there is new money that has been added to, to my revenue. When I check my my revenue in YouTube Studio, it shows you how much money I've made so far. Like since the, the month began, they keep updating you. So whether I am sleeping, like as I can assure you that even now as I'm recording this, there's somebody out there watching one of my old videos and I'm getting paid for that. So whether you're working or not, somebody is watching your videos and you're getting paid. I mean, how cool. Yeah, so it is a, 
a platform to make money and also it does not require that is if i am if i am monetized because I, i'm talking about the ad revenue and then there are many ways to get monetized on youtube even if you're not on partnership program because you can have sponsors you can have uh affiliate marketing you can you can earn in so many ways for example uh epidemic sound this is a platform for music for content creators and everyone that it wants maybe to like listen to good music and all that yeah so you can use epidemic sound to earn money even if you know your channel is not monetized you just have to i think i'm going to create a video to show you guys if anybody out there is a content creator and want to be earning some money because i myself i earn from epidemic sound that link that i i always put in my description and some of you who ask me where i get my beautiful music from i usually give you that link so whenever i click on that link and you sign up i get something deposited on my account so you can do the same you can do it does not require you to be monetized you can earn from epidemic sound even if you're not monetized thank you everyone that has used my link to to sign up on epidemic sound if you want cool music the, the link is going to be in the description click on it and then get some good music so you can earn money on youtube like in different in many different ways apart from money you can also have also learned skills i've learned skill like i the, there are things that i do now that i never knew that i could do like editing i used to make videos even before joining youtube but i don't think i was as good as i am now i think like my skill has kind of leveled up a little bit it wasn't that good back then i know how to do certain things like the thumbnails and what not yeah so i've learned new skills and also like to to speak on the camera i don't think i was this confident when i first began <laughs> you can go back and see my first video my very first video oh my god it was filmed one year ago today 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 yeah so you can go back and then you see that uh it's actually very weird those of you who who are youtubers you can confirm this because like talking on the camera while you are just alone it feels very weird but the more you do it the more you gain confidence and the more you get used to it it becomes normal so now i don't find it weird even when i'm walking on the street and i'm talking i don't find it weird whether people look at me or not i don't care then another thing i am thankful for and grateful for is that this is my hobby i feel fulfilled whenever i do i will never make a video okay the main reason why i created my channel was to keep my memories there like i always kept them on facebook and instagram like i always had lots of videos whatever happened in my life i was always like vlogging so it has always been my hobby i just had not put it into the public so i feel fulfilled whenever i create whenever i do something like every video that i put out there whether people watch it or not for me in my heart i feel fulfilled i feel happy creating just makes me happy so to have this platform to to put my creativity there and be happy and also put a smile on people's face it just melts my heart because some of my videos <laughs> make some people happy uh, another thing i'm grateful for is that i have a platform if i want to express myself or to advertise your your business if you have a business going on like for myself i have a business i, I sell sneakers and i talk about them from time to time and i get customers from actually youtube and thank you so much you guys everyone that has come to support my business from my youtube family you guys i feel like you've become my family like <laughs> when i'm talking maybe i be feeling like, okay you are just okay you are my family yeah you've become so so important to me yeah so i have people that come from youtube to come and support me i have i also have airbnb i've talked about it here and i've also done uh tours about uh, tours on my airbnb apartments i have guests that come from all over the world to come and visit and stay at my place and they told me that they found me on youtube i mean how cool is that like if i wasn't on youtube you'd never know i have guests that come from my family my youtube family it always melts my heart when you reach out to me and be like i watch you on youtube i would like to come and stay 
Oh, she on YouTube, I would like to have two pairs of shoes. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Yeah, so this is also another thing that I'm grateful for, to have this platform. Let's look at the disadvantages. The advantages of um, being a YouTuber. One of the disadvantages is there will be people out there that will not like you. Uh, of course, even in real life, like even the people work with, some people just don't like us. But um, I, I just want to mention this to somebody out there that uh, that maybe you go through this or you plan to start a YouTube, you should expect this. There will be people out there that just don't like you. Doesn't mean that you have a problem or that you maybe you're not creative. This world has mean people and it is usually not something about you it is just them like they have their evil things they are fighting they are they have things they are dealing with in their lives so they may be they don't know how to deal with the, the whatever negativity they are having in their lives so they look for whoever they can if they find you online they are scrolling on youtube and then they find they just <laughs> bring something and put it on you so the advice to give i give you is that to never take anything personal personal yeah that's what i do some people say some mean things and i always feel sorry for them because it means they are they are dealing with something they also would like to be good people maybe but they are just bad people because of maybe what they are going through so don't take anything personal it's not about you yeah there will be people that will be there and say mean things to you very mean things and if you have low self-esteem i highly highly recommend that you <laughs> you don't do your lifestyle content because if people will say things that you may make you question yourself your even your existence yeah there are mean very mean people out there yeah that will happen when you start getting recognized when you have like 1k subs uh all or you have like 200 views 500 views nobody cares there you have only people who who may be know you yeah but when you get recognized and you're getting like 50k views 100k views those videos that have high views that's where the mean comments come from because now like the videos all over and then it is accessed by of both good people and idiots so you get comments from good people and from idiots <laughs> you have to expect that when you grow yeah and then um carrying people's problems like i get dms on instagram people relying on me like for for advice and all that and i'm someone who really cares like if somebody tells me what they are going through i usually like put in all my energy so I be here carrying like a lot of people's problems, whoever tells me whatever they are going through. And by the way, men, please stop hurting women. Most of these people be telling me relationship problems, what their men are making them go through. It's very unfortunate. Please, men, be fair. Be fair. So <laughs> that is a disadvantage to me. I really care so much. And I always like, I put in effort. If somebody tells me their problems, I will carry it the whole day. Like even if I I give them my thoughts, I will be praying for them. But then like from time to time, I'm worried about them. I'd be like, I wonder how she's doing now. What next? You know? Yeah. So people come and tell you their issues and then you have to listen to them. And I'm not saying that it's a bad thing. I'm not saying that uh, I wish they didn't. You know, I'm grateful that they can talk to me, but also is kind of heavy sometimes like it's too much when you have to worry about a lot of people maybe if you didn't if i didn't care maybe it would be less stressful but i care about each one of them so i have to carry the 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 burden of like for all the people that reach out to me to tell me their their life challenges and i hope they all be okay someday yeah so that's another challenge Please don't, don't feel bad if you've told me your things and if you feel like I'm... No, it's not like that. I'm glad that you trust me, that you can talk to me. It's just a challenge, like when sometimes it is too much you get. Hmm. Then another challenge. Sometimes people can put you on pressure. Uh, let's say, okay, me, me, let, let's say myself. This was just 
for myself this one was just for myself to put there my things but now i feel like sometimes be on pressure to upload if i don't upload then people start messaging me are you okay this week you didn't upload what happened you know like there is kind of pressure you're not running on your own pace you know want you to upload and upload and upload and even when you upload sometimes they don't even watch but when you don't upload then they're like what happened are you okay is everything okay which brings me to the to another point about privacy 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 this is a big thing even if uh, most especially if you do live lifestyle content like me who vlogs about her life i do lifestyle content yeah so it is very hard to to be private but you can still be private while you're sharing your content it is stress people be stressed when they don't see growth like uh, let's say i think this is common because i i don't think i faced this challenge if i did maybe i forgot but i feel like it happens like if you're focused on okay like money and growth if you're focused on main on growth and not doing it as your passion you will get stressed so these people like they always tell me how stressed they are that they are not getting subscribers that they are not getting views and all that and like some of them are really depressed they go into real real depression yeah it happens out there please if you you know somebody that is struggling please watch their videos watch their uh, subscribe to their channel maybe it can make them feel better yeah some of these people they are depressed they get depressed because of that yeah so that is a big disadvantage like if someone has been on youtube and they have done everything they can and they are not seeing growth they end up getting stressed getting into depression yeah but i would advise that if you feel like it is not for you just leave it i i don't usually tell people to quit but if it is bringing you um more damage to your mental health then it's not worth it do something that makes you happy if it is the like, causing you depression after another after another you're just damaging yourself youtube is not for everyone i'm not saying this to discourage anyone but it's not for everyone and if you try everything and it has failed you can live and do something else but if you feel in your heart that it is for you then continue to fight hard and don't don't allow it to depress you be happy enjoy doing the content if nobody watches it you watch it yourself me i'm an example if <laughs> my sister is really laughs at me when i i i have a new video even before i upload it i can watch it because i enjoy what i do i can watch it multiple times and yet it is me in the video but i just enjoy it i watch myself i watch i watch, I watch. even after i've uploaded it i will watch it and watch it every time I, every chance i get because i just enjoy it if they don't want to watch it you watch it and it makes you happy if you can't stand watching it then that means it is not a good video it is not worth watching so why how do you expect people to watch it if you yourself can't watch it thank you so much i'm thankful for a year of having a wonderful family in you guys and now by next year let's beat 10k ah 10k only no I think I feel like I'm going to have a lot of growth this year. Yeah, so it will be more than 10k by next year. As of now, we are 4,200 something. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. I love you. I love you. I love you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.